Hey, Boomer. Hello, Boomer. Since we were talking about capybaras, can I rant about another book I loved as a child? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh! Yo! What? Cappy Boppy? Cappy Boppy. Wait. It's a picture book entirely about a family having a capybara as a pet. What? 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 Is the author's name Bill Feet? As far as I know, it's a real story. Oh, Bill Pete. Feet. Oh. Pete. I saw feet, too. Where? I, I see feet all the time. Bill Pete is a uh, picture book author who does a bunch of, like, kind of weird ones, like about a cat living in an abandoned car, or... He, he has very... Beautiful animation style. And mm. Oh. Oh, cool. Can you hold it up a teeny bit higher? Yeah. He wrote a story about his family's pet capybara. Nice. Uh, yeah, can we get that up just a little bit higher in the, in the like, top two-thirds? The actual capybara was slightly clipped oh. out of the bottom of shop yeah. by the overlay. overlay. No, no, open it up. I want to see the yeah. inside. Show us. Art. Any Wait. page. Oh. Art. Hey. Hey. Thank oh, you. it's great. But, That's super wow. good. I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cappy and would mess up a studio real good. Uh, it does All end right. sadly on the fact that the capybara ultimately has to go live at a zoo instead of with a family in a private home. But I suppose it's got a lot of adorable yeah. things on the way. Oh man, yes. Yeah, because I was gonna say if you can legally have a Cappy as a pet, I know what I'm getting after my cat and snake. You can. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. They do just they do like a lot of water though. You might want to live somewhere a little bit more temperate. Yeah, now, fair. Do you think I that they these people lived in California? Do you think so they have the same do you think cappies have the same allergens as dogs or cats? I don't no. think so based on the based on their type of hair and skin. Cuz we know that Paul and Serge mm -hmm. don't interact well with nasally cats. with cats. But how are they with rodents? Graham, are you thinking of getting an office capybara? <gasps> <laughs> yes, 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 yes! So, like, actually, no, but that's definitely where I was going with that conversation. Yes. <laughs> Moonbase Cappy! They need plenty of room and swimming areas. Okay, so that means we need a bigger office with a pool. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I, this is only upside. For sale. They do poop Vancouver. in the pool, so you don't necessarily want to mix your swimming pool with. It's their swimming Cat pool. With their swimming yeah, pool, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So but, two pools is what I'm hearing. Right. Well, I mean, why not? Yeah. But they do also like to poop in a group. So if you can keep, like, a tray of some of water, water in, in, your in the toilet, they'll mm. go with you. Oh! Huh. Could we just all start pooping as a group? No. <laughs> if you like. No. no. <laughs> we only have one toilet. Uh, you no. could. <laughs> Back up toilet. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to do that anyway. Yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Who even brought that up? <laughs> Alright, this is improv. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you have to add to it. You have to add to it. Yes, and... <laughs> Eye contact. <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, See, Joe. You're I learning. Like, yeah, I don't think any of us are in a position to criticize how good that was. <laughs> <laughs>